it's your girl Christy Otaku here and we're back with another figure unboxing. Today we have been waiting for these boys for the longest time and actually they were they were supposedly delivered Friday on the 28th but it was a whole DHL mix up. The guy, whoever they were, was too lazy to like deliver it but I was able to get it. Thank God they didn't get shipped back to Japan because I would have cried because I was so excited to get them. We finally, finally, if you remember, I said I ordered Ruggy and Jack from Twisted Wonderland. I'm so happy to finally have them. They are so cute, especially Ruggy. Um, I'm excited. I actually recently ordered the other characters here, Nook, and I can't remember the other character. But I actually just pre-ordered them because they came out a few days ago. And I have the twins also ordered as well. So I'm excited to finally get Jack. I still have to get my hands on the dorm leaders like Leona, Dimple, oh, not Dimple, what am I saying? Sorry, my light. Uh, Riddle, and basically you guys, you know, the dorm leaders. Um, when you order these, again, you get the exclusive pins that come with them. They are super cute, just so I have everyone else over here, Ace, and Deuce, and Trey. I'm excited to finally have them. Ruggy is adorable. I, I, I'm so happy to have them. These guys are going to be super hard to find in the aftermarket. So I plan on getting every single character that I can snag. Um, again, the dorm leaders are the hardest ones to find. But I'm going to get them. I'm going to get every single character in Twist Wonderland. For sure. Just in time, in time. But again, let's get on with the unboxing. Starting with Ruggie's box, his box to me is really, really adorable. I love how he has a lot of accessories. It's kind of disappointing how Jack doesn't have as many, but I'm still going to be able to put them together in nice poses. I love the detail of the kind of tribal pattern of the sides of the box, and I love how they chose the orange and black because it does fit the aesthetic because the, the dorm that they're in. And I just think it's a really, really good touch. I am super excited to get these guys out of the box in some decent, beautiful poses. And this is a close-up of that pin I was showing you guys earlier. I have so many of these now. Jack is so cute. I was not expecting to fall in love with Jack so quickly because I he's not one of Ruggy and Jack are not my favorites. But how they sculpted his Nendrit and looks so good, and I cannot wait to get him out of the box. close-up of that pin I was showing you guys that comes with it. The face plates that he comes with are so cute. I like his big smile and his little standard smile. It's a really adorable and I love Ruggies. I love his little smirk like causing trouble smile or sm smirking. I don't know what you call it but it's super cute. And I love the other face plate where his fangs are showing and he's just looking all like cocky and like gonna start some trouble. I absolutely love it. The detail on these guys are so good. Any Plex outdo them, outdo themselves every time they pull out these Twisted Wonderland Nendroids. The detail on their jackets, their vests, how Ruggy has his like bandana around his neck, and the, even their tails are so, so adorable. The shading on their hair. Don't even get me started. Jack's sculpt or hair sculpt is so nice. And I love the detail with the shading of their tail. I didn't even realize that Ruggie has such a tiny little tail while Jack has a bigger tail. And I never caught that when playing the game. And now that I have their Nendroids, I now know that. It's just a really good attention to detail. I just how love how Jack has his bandana around his waist or hips. And just like, it's so nice. And their ears, oh my gosh, their ears are so good too. I like the rough in their ear, the shading on the tip of, their, of Jack's ears, the gray. Both androids are just absolutely amazing. I highly recommend you guys purchase these if you are a fan of these characters. First, we have them in the pose with their wands. I have them both in those uh, leg bent pieces, and also Jack has his arms sticking out. And I realized when putting together that if you can compare the two, Jack is more of a bigger build. And I love how they actually gave him that little bit of detail in his Nendrid. As you can tell here, his, they actually sculpted muscles. I love the detail again with how they did that difference in the body types. Because you can clearly tell their, their size difference in the game. 
This is their second pose with both of them in their different face plates. I have Jack on his snowboard and Ruggie with his like sneering, sneaky kind of smile on his face. They both are looking so adorable. It was a little bit tricky to put Jack on his snowboard though. You have to take off the bottom half and then take off the legs and then put both the legs on the pegs. You want to be careful because you don't want to break anything. But the detail on the snowboard is actually pretty well done too. Next face plates we have are poses. This is probably my favorite one by far. We have Reggie with his donuts and then we have Jack with his cactus. He looks so cute. I was not expecting to fall in love with Jack's an android, but I just absolutely love the expression. And I'm not even that far in the story, so I didn't even know he liked, I guess, cactuses. So I just think that's a beautiful, adorable touch that they added and I'm so happy with the outcome. Ruggy, the donuts were a little bit tricky to get in his hands, but nonetheless, it's still adorable. And then one of the last poses we have is him holding a fishing rod with the fish at the end, which is made out of real string. And then we have Jack with his arms crossed. I love the little detail with the fishing rod. And I, again, haven't got this far in the story to see that, but I'm absolutely digging it. I love it so much. Jack, I love, again, how his arms are crossed. It was a little tricky. I recommend taking his head off first before putting the arms across the uh, chest because it sometimes can break, so you gotta be careful. I love how also it's real string there and it's really good attention detail. Everything's just spot on. Both of these beautiful boys were $66 and then with shipping brought a total to $156. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. I highly recommend if you're a fan of Twister Wonderland to pick up these guys. I know Ruggy is still in, oh sorry, not Ruggy, but uh, Jack is still in stock on Nin Nin Game. So you can snag him for the same price I did mention, which was $66. So I would hurry on because I know a lot of these prices will rise, especially for these Nendroids. They are limited exclusive. And again, thank you guys so much for watching the video and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.